through the Connecting the Nemoy River project, we're really focusing on working with our private landholders along the stretch of the system. Uh, and one of those has been James Barlow, who's come on board to help us implement a, the, the on-ground activities that we're trying to do with this project. So James is really focused on planting new native vegetation along his stretch of the property and also removing some of the weed species that are competing with the vegetation that's already there. We had a fairly large, before this program happened, population of um, honey locusts, more willows, seem to be spreading quite vigorously along the river. Uh, so, yeah, and they were a bit of a pain, for sure. So, yeah, definitely have noticed over the years a few plants getting back into the area that probably shouldn't be there and are probably doing more harm than good. James Barlow um, has a, a lovely property. He's got a lot of river country, about seven kilometres of river country. For the most part, a lot of that uh, river country is quite good. There's some good remnant um, vegetation growing already. He did have quite a few weed species on the property, which he recognised were an issue. Um, we were able to help with the removal of those weed species and value add and, and improve the biodiversity of the riparian habitat by doing some of that direct seeding and tube stock planting as well. So the benefits um, certainly for the environment and his property on a large scale um, are, are well worth the efforts put in by everyone. Well I guess it's all different depending on their needs, um, obviously what farming practices they're undertaking. For some people allowing um, the riparian area to be unfenced suits them because they don't run cattle but we can still protect those areas and, and improve the the biodiversity and, and get rid of those weed species and, and try and get regeneration of some of the native trees coming back in those areas. And we've had just had that goal to remove these problem trees more than ever and try to regenerate as best as possible the riverbank. But we've seen a lot of change in, in attitude toward, uh, for example, willows in the river system. People are now acknowledging that it's important to get those native uh, riparian plant species back in and it's some of those landholders that have been around for generations that are accepting that things need to change. Um, I think people are more positive and aware of the environment around us um, today. We're trying to kind of sustain, live sustainably basically, if not help recover what might have damage have been done in the past. For the most part, people are taking responsibility um, for their land and they're acknowledging the influence of what they're doing on their land uh, affects the rivers um, and the landscape around it. Um, I think there's a great awareness of people um, to understand that it's important to look after the, the rivers, the, the lifeline you know, of the environment, of this landscape. Without the rivers, um, really nothing would work. I definitely have a sense of obligation because I own it and it's third generation. You, d you do feel a sense of pride, so you, you want to look after it. And if it's to be handed on to future generations, it, it, yeah, you could have photos and see how far it's come, for sure. <laughs>